students i am professor mehnas kosa standing before you to present on topic that is soft skill and personality development if you are searching for that one person who will change your life then look into the mirror you are the one who can change your life you are the one who can create positivity you are the one who can change your mind i will explain this topic by taking two definition first one who defines soft skill as the ability for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individual to deal with demand and challenges of everyday life unicef calls these skills as life skills and defines as a behavior change or behavior development approach designed to address a balance of three areas that is knowledge attitude and skills now these skills can be classified into four categories that is technical and digital skill productivity skill leadership and management skill and the fourth very important that is soft skill so today i am going to start with soft skill that is required for your personality development so let's start with our ppt now what exactly are soft skill soft skill are the personal attribute means your inner qualities okay so soft skill are personal attributes needed for success on the job or in your life so few examples for soft skill are like time management networking team work creative thinking and conflict resolution now we will see what exactly is soft skill soft skill are the combination of people skill social skill communication skill emotional intelligence and personal traits that make it easy to get along and work harmoniously with other people so soft skill are the combination of people skill means your inner attributes your inner qualities social skill how you interact with other people communication skill the language which you are using your emotional intelligence how you behave in a given particular situation and personal traits means it includes your body language your communication skill eye contact etc that makes it easy to get along and work harmoniously with other people in soft skill you have to work with other people politely few examples again team work team work means you have to work with your members in mutual understanding time management creative thinking conflict management conflict management means the place where you are working disputes may arise conflicts may arise but you have to resolve those conflicts and you have to manage all the things smoothly and properly moving ahead now we will see difference between hard skill and soft skill there is a difference between hard and soft what is hard skill hard skill are those abilities which can be teachable okay so here you can see hard skills are the teachable abilities or skill set that are easy to quantify what it means it means the skills which you are earning or which you are learning for example proficiency in a foreign language if you have learned any foreign language then it's your hard skill because you have learned that language okay then a degree or a certificate for example if you are a bba qualified and you have degree of bba or mba or of any professional course then it's your hard skill okay if you have very good typing speed then it's your hard skill machine operation if you are good in operating any machine then it's your hard skill computer programming again it's example of hard skill now soft skill it is people skill or interpersonal skill interpersonal skills means which are inbuilt okay like communication how you communicate with others which language you are using while communicating flexibility how much flexible you are with given particular situation leadership what leadership quality you are having team work and then time management so these are basically inbuilt qualities of any person which can be known as soft skill now moving ahead now we will see 
various qualities or we can say various skills which comes under soft skill so i will take one by one next first we will start with communication communication are of two types first one it is based on communication channel and second one it is based on style and purpose okay so based on communication channel means verbal communication and non verbal communication verbal communication means which you speak like it can be oral communication if you are speaking like i am speaking so i am giving oral communication written communication is there if you are writing anything okay it may be formal or informal then it also comes under verbal communication and non verbal communication means if you are speaking through any actions or color or code then it will come under non verbal communication next based on slight uh, sorry style and purpose there are two style or purpose that is formal and informal formal means if you are working in any organization